Now let's do an addition problem that deals with time. We're going to do an application problem. On Monday, Bob worked 7 hours and 30 minutes. On Tuesday, he worked 12 hours and 45 minutes. On Thursday, 6 hours and 15 minutes. And on Friday, 9 hours and 50 minutes. For how many hours and minutes should he be paid this week? So what we need to do is to organize things and line up our hours and minutes that he worked each day. So let's do this. On Monday, he worked 7 hours, 30 minutes. Tuesday, 12 hours, 45 minutes. Notice he didn't work on Wednesday, but that's probably because he worked the 12 hours on Tuesday. On Thursday, he worked 6 hours, 15 minutes. And on Friday, he worked 9 hours, 50 minutes. And again, he didn't work on Saturday and Sunday. So if we add up our minutes, we have... 5, and 5 is 10, so we put down our 0, carry our 1, 1 and 3 is 4, and 4 is 8, and 1 is 9, and 5 is 14, so he worked 140 minutes, and if we add up our hours, 7 and 2 is 9, and 6 is 15, and 9 is 24, carry our 2, 2 and 1 gives us 3. So he worked 34 hours and 140 minutes. Now, we need to see if we have enough minutes to give us some more hours. And as you remember, there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we need to see how many 60s there are in 140, and that'll let us know how many hours we need to add on here. And since I know there's more than 160 in 140, I'm just going to come up here and divide 60 into 140. And see how many 60s there are. Every 60 I have, I'm going to have another hour. So if I do that, if I estimate 6 goes into 14 two times, so let's try 2. Put my 2 up here. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. And I have 20 left over. So that means I'm going to have 2 hours to carry over there to my 34 hours, and I'll have 20 minutes left over. I'm going to show that by subtracting that 120 from the 140 and leaving me with 20 minutes. And this 120 is my two hours. So I'm going to have to add that two hours over here to the 34 hours. And I'll end up with 36 hours, 20 minutes. So this would be my answer. 36 hours, 20 minutes. Now let's do some practice problems with adding denominant numbers. First, I want you to add three pints, one cup, to two pints and one cup. I want you to, number two is seven pounds, ten ounces, plus three pounds, ten ounces. Number three is an application problem. It took John 10 minutes and 45 seconds to complete one job. A second job took him 15 minutes and 30 seconds. How many minutes and seconds did it take him to do both jobs? 
copy the problems down and work them. Remembering to simplify your answers. Cut the tape off. Once you think you have your answers correct, cut them back, cut the tape back on to check your answers. Here are the answers to the practice problems. Number one is six pounds. Number two is 11 pounds, four ounces. Number three is 26 minutes, 15 seconds. Concludes our work with adding denominant numbers. You found that you often had to carry when you were doing the addition, and you had to use your, your facts, your conversion facts, to let you know what to carry. Well, now we're getting ready to subtract with denominant numbers, and you'll find that the thing that we'll need to do here is borrow, like you do in, we'll often have to borrow, like you do in normal subtraction problems. And again, we'll have to use our conversion facts so that we'll know what to borrow. Let's begin with this problem. We're going to work with time with subtraction to begin with. We have three weeks, six days, and from that we want to subtract two weeks, four days. So we line things up, put our days together and our weeks, and we just subtract like normal. Four days from six days leaves two days. Two weeks from three weeks leaves one week. There was nothing that we needed to borrow in that one. So that one was just a standard problem where we just subtracted days from days and weeks from weeks. Now let's do another subtraction problem. We're going to find the difference between five tons, 300 pounds, and two tons, 1,500 pounds. So let's line things up so that we can subtract. And when we get ready to subtract, we immediately see we have a problem. We can't subtract 1,500 from 300, so we're going to have to go borrow. So we go to our five tons, and we want to borrow one, so we're going to be left with four tons. Now, so what we're borrowing is one ton. Now, that one ton that we're borrowing, we can't just stick a one down here because we've got pounds over here. So what we've really got to do is change that one ton that we're borrowing into pounds. And if you remember, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So when we borrow one ton, what we're really doing is we're borrowing 2,000 pounds. Well, we already had 300 pounds. So now we're going to have 2,000 plus the 300 pounds, or 2,300 pounds. And we wanted to subtract 1,500 pounds from it, so I'm going to move the 1,500 over here. so that I can subtract, and we'll extend this line on out, and now we're ready to subtract 0 from 0 leaves 0, 0 from 0 leaves 0, 5 from 3, we can't do, so we have to borrow here. Now, since we're working with pounds, everything is pounds, we can just put our 1 up here. 5 from 13 leaves 8, and one from one leaves zero. So we have 800 pounds. Now we can't forget to subtract our tons. We want to subtract 
two tons from four tons, so we're left with two tons.